Are you finding that the drops on Aberration are just completely crap? You know, all you will get is basically maybe some building structures and maybe some other useless stuff that you don't want. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get some really good loot. Now, the first thing you do want to make sure is you do have a pretty good rock drake because you will be going out to the surface. You do want to make sure that maybe don't take anything with you just in case if there happens to be a reaper that comes out. But th the next thing I do want to talk about is what time and when to go out. So right now, if you see the day is 50% day and 50% night, we want to wait until basically um, the day is 10% and the night is 90%. So basically we want to have a longer time to go out there. Now, the thing with this though, reapers will still spawn, but they will not spawn if you go out at 5.30, basically when, you know, the sun is basically coming up. But the sun doesn't come up until about, say, 11. You want to make sure that you get back before then. Probably best to leave at, say, 10. It is 10% day and 90% night. Now, the day has actually just switched. So, yeah, that's why it's 10% day and 90% night. Now, I'll show you basically where I am for the surface. So I'll just give you the location so you can see kind of where it is. So this is where the surface is. The one that I'm going to, now this is the red obelisk location and uh, I've pretty much been able to get some pretty good blueprints. I recommend going to this one. Now it's 3.02 a.m. You know what, we'll go out early. I'll just go to here. Oh. And for some reason that didn't there we go and already you can see there's heaps of um there's heaps of reapers I think it should be all right because I think they've just uh, dug underground so you might be able to get away with it what I'll do is I'll test it so there's some of the reapers okay yep yep okay so they still do come out but they are like burying themselves back into the ground because it is almost it is almost day, so... Yep, there you go! <laughs> so it might make it a bit harder to get some drops uh, when these guys are still out, so it's a matter of just being quick enough. But they are burying themselves underground, so we still got a little bit of time. Let's just wait for that, and once it's 5.30, we'll test it again. So once you hear the little morning sound, then um, it should be alright to actually be on the ground, but we'll test it as well. Right. And there you have it. It is now pretty much morning. So, oh, and also you want to make sure that uh, if you are flying around, make sure you have like a little waypoint, you know, make sure you can get back. So you've just always got that there just in case, if, especially if you're far away. So now let's just test it. So you can still hear them. They're pretty much... Oh, I don't actually think it's... Are you going to attack me? You are. So you may get one or two that actually come out, but I think majority of the time you're you're okay. Now, I haven't got a bolt dog with me. Uh, you can take one, but the seekers will then be after you. So that's a matter of, um, you know, it's kind of up to you. Just having a look around for drops. Sometimes it is best to kind of climb up somewhere high so you can you can see. Um, but sometimes there is actually already drops on the ground, um, but they just have no uh, light for whatever reason. Because it's like they've already been there for a, for a bit, so it's just a matter of kind of flying around, seeing what you can see. I do see a drop? There we go. Okay, so sometimes, yeah, these drops, they don't actually show uh, the light, so you kind of have to just find them. And there you go, look at that. So you've already got some electronics. Probably not, you know the best stuff but anyway we got some stuff so let's just keep searching around and hopefully that should trigger uh, a drop to come down as well just gonna fly back a bit because sometimes oh there we go there's a red drop how good is that we got a red drop coming down we'll go for that one and there's a blue one as well so we've, we've got a few you know you kind of just think oh this has got to be good right it's got to be uh 
it looks like that blue drop is going to come down first. So we'll go to that one. Still want to keep an eye on the time. Always good to check it. But yes, uh, I always like to go in with just completely nothing. Maybe a pair of pants that I don't mind uh, parting with. So yeah, so what do we get? We got a compound bow. Like this is, this is okay. I mean, you know, if you get a gun, that's pretty good. So, you know, um, it's better than uh, what's, you know, in there. So that, that red drop, ugh. That's got to be good. I'm just literally standing here, waiting. No reapers. Absolutely fine. Relaxed. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. So, uh, sometimes that can happen. <laughs> looks like we can't get that blue one. Um, so, yeah, some of the spots, it looks like it just goes in. I really do hope they fix that. I really hope they do. Doesn't look like any else, anything else has really spawned, so... What time is it? 7.30? We, we got plenty of time. So we need to maybe head back before 10 just to be the, on the safe side. All right, looks like this one is good. Yes. The red drop. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> got a good blueprint. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We got a rock drake saddle. There we go. See, much better. So we did get a blueprint. So that's, that's always something. Right, I do see some more drops over here, so we'll go have a look over here. Let's do this. Right, let's see what we get for this one. Right, let's open. There we go. Got some more better stuff. Like, this is beyond a lot better than what we were getting, you know, um, when I first started this video. A lot better. I always like to look up at the sky as well, just to see, you know, if we can see any other, other drops. All right, we might go for that blue drop and then I think it's probably best um, to start heading heading back. The reason why I like the rock drakes is because they're, you know, they are fast. Uh, you could also take a yearling, you know, if you wanted to. Um, so, you know, that's always an option as well. Could probably get another one, but it's, you know, it's whether or not you want to risk it. Right, so this one's just a little bit more, more crap. But yeah, we'll start probably heading back that way. You know, you don't want to get stuck out here, especially when the sun comes up. That is just brutal. But yeah, you can get some really good stuff. Like, uh, what did I get? I think I got a, like, a blueprint for a rock drake saddle. Now, what time is it? Yeah, so basically it's 10. So basically we want to start really kind of heading back because about 10.30, uh, I'm pretty sure the temperature just starts to rise, so we don't kind of want to be out here when that happens. See? Temperature's starting to rise. So once it hits 10.30, yeah, you kind of don't want to be, you don't want to be out here. So, what did we get? So there you go, we did get a Mastercraft, those uh, sand sharp saddles. So that's pretty good. We got a rock drake saddle, we got a long neck. So look, this is okay. I would call this an okay haul. It's honestly a lot better than what you get from up there. And uh, you know, if you do this the next night, you know, who knows? There is a chance that you could get a really, really good blueprint for say a shotgun or um, a crossbow, you know, things like that. Like that's gonna be really good to use. So yeah, anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and as always i will see you in the next one